Will of Light. They have. Pray forgive me. So this is Lord Rulgia. Judging from his vision that we fought in Rundle, he's more of the strong, silent type. Through my recklessness, I brought great danger and trouble upon you all. I cannot begin to apologize. I had fully expected to be dismissed from the Warriors of the Crystals, or worse. And yet, you have chosen to forgive me. I will remember your kindness always, and redouble my effort. <laughs> Is something the matter? Uh, Lucio, could you step aside for a bit? Are you all right, Rulgia? Here, is it? Your belly? As usual? Uh, thank you, Master Velis. That feels a bit better. Uh, 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 what exactly is going on? Rulgia has a weak stomach. And a crippling lack of self-confidence. This is so confusing. So, uh, Lord Rulgia? Ah, uh, hello there. Master Lucio, was it? Well met. Forgive me. For everything. I fear you saw me at my worst. It's quite all right, really. Or rather, it's just that... Well, you're not at all what I was expecting after fighting your vision in Rundle. Rulgia has a habit of trying far too hard, you see. Forgive me, Mistress Perrine. I never thought trying hard could be a bad thing. Ah, but I have not formally introduced myself. My good Master Lucio, I am Rulgia. I may be lacking both in strength and skill, but if you could be so kind as to remember my name... Uh, but I would not impose upon you, so feel free to just say, Hey you, or call me What's-Your-Name, if you please. But, but I could never be so rude to one of my seniors. This is going to be tricky. Enough already. Can't you see her making poor Lucio uncomfortable? I knew he just kind of falls apart like this at times, but was it always this bad? There is much to be discussed and we are being most inefficient. Will of Light? Ah, indeed. In that case, yes. But of course, if you are willing to endure this fool's ramblings, I will take the liberty of speaking. Is he always like this? Yes, that's right. Why, he usually just kind of sits quietly in the corner, actually. Hmm. It's kind of hard to imagine it was his vision that we fought in Rundle. Pray forgive me. You saw me at my worst. No. It seems I always find new depths to plumb. Sure. Enough of the blubbering apologies, Rulgia. Just give your report already. Uh, yes, right. If I truly have your permission to speak, then I shall. Er, uh, yes. And that's what happened. In a most embarrassing and pathetic display, I allowed myself to be taken prisoner. So from the sound of it, it was Rulgia, not Wrath and Perrine, who first made contact with the Servant of the Void. 
No, it goes back further. If the Aldo's words to Rulgia were indeed true, the first contact would have been Vardia's vision, Astrius. Yes. Hearing the events that took place during my absence, I arrived at the same conclusion. The corruption of the Core Crystals and the awakening of Master Lucio here as the Warrior of the Light Crystal. I believe that vision of Master Vardia going by the name of Astrius gained its power from the Servants of the Void. Um, I'm not really sure you should be calling me Master or anything. I'm your junior, so you... Look, I get where you're coming from, but you're going to set him off again. So for now, just shush. To forgive me? While a war for the very fate of multiple worlds was being waged, there I was. Useless. Even worse. I let the enemy steal my power and bring forth a vision to do battle with my own dear companions. Why, if there were a bottomless pit, I would gladly cast myself into... Oh, oh, oh my stomach. Valis, do your thing. All right, all right. Come on, stop clutching your belly and let me see it. I must say, I didn't expect that mess with Astrius would come into play again like this. Tell me about it. So anyway, what are we supposed to do about the problem at hand? It is obvious. We find the Servants of the Void and wipe them out. We've let them scuttle about too long already. That's all well and good, but we don't even know where they're going to show up next. Rulgia, while you were captured, didn't you hear anything about their plans? Nothing clear, I am afraid. Uh, uh, there was something that struck me as curious. It was when I was drifting in and out of consciousness, so I cannot be certain, but... Anything's better than nothing at this point. Let's hear it. Something about a serpent and the war waged by the savage king. How that would be the perfect opportunity. Well done. Serpent, savage king, and war. These are most satisfactory key words. Will of Light, grant me permission to review all the wars fought or to be fought in Ardra. Very well. Now then. Well, did you find anything? I found chronicles from a war which features everything Rulgia mentioned. The final clash between Mont, the young prince of Leonis, and Mad King Moraga of Fennis. The bloody conflict that came to be known by history as the War of Lion's Valley. Ah, huh. Fennis was that nation on the edge of Ardra, yes? The place people called the Land of the Savages. But what about this serpent? What does that have to do with this war? As the Chronicles tell it, it was in this battle that the Mad King Muraga shed his human form and embraced the Great Serpent. Huh? What the heck is that supposed to mean? As for that, I suppose it best that you see for yourself. So I'm being volunteered to go again? Just because I wasn't around when you fought Astrius doesn't mean you can force me to do extra to make up for it, you know? Well, we can't exactly put this on Rulgia when he's only just recovered. Ah, oh, fine. I guess if I have to... No. This time I believe we should all go. Huh? Since we rescued Rulgia from their clutches, our foe has been practically silent.
which only makes it plausible to believe they are ready to achieve the next step of their goals. And just what exactly might that be? I do not know. And it is precisely for that reason that I believe we should act as one. If all of us are together, we can handle whatever they're planning. Is that what you're suggesting? I understand that it may seem a bit reckless, but even so... We can't afford any more half-measures. We need to put a stop to the chaos they spread. A swift, decisive confrontation works for me. W will of Light? Pray tell, do you agree with this course of action? Not that I'm saying I don't want to go. I mean, of course I shall. about getting the blood pumping. Are we all ready to do this? The warriors of the crystals fighting as one to complete a great mission. I'm getting nervous already. How long has it been since we all went out together like this? <gasps> Should I put together a picnic box? <sighs> if you're bringing the food, put in lots of meat. And nothing too spicy, like you always do. I question my state of mind by saying this, but the two of you should pay more attention to the example Lucio sets. Oh, come now. Asking those two to act proper at this point would probably just leave the rest of us even more uncomfortable. All right, we're off to protect world peace and all that. Ready yourselves, everyone. Understood. I shall do my duty as a true warrior of the crystals. As will I. Ditto. What's with that wishy-washy answer? Let's see some fire in you! As worthless a warrior as I may be, I shall not shirk in the face of... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I shall refrain from pointing out the inefficiencies of having to tell you this every time. But can you at least take something for that stomach of yours? Look, everyone! Picnic boxes, just as I said! I'll hand them out when we get there, okay? Wait, what was that red stuff? You made something spicy again, didn't you? Oh, I knew it! Uh, yes. Leave it... to us? Why in the world is that a question? <sighs> Come on, let's get moving! Is everyone here? Should I take roll call? If you want to turn it into a school picnic, sure. Lightening the mood like that may very well help us focus more on our mission, don't you think? I do not completely disagree, however... It is only natural that the eldest of a group serves as chaperone. Will you be fine with this extra burden, Velas? The eldest? You just had to say it, didn't you? You make it sound like I'm some old geezer. You saying you're not? Hmm, you too then? Fine, have it your way. This old geezer is going to take it easy at the back then. I knew it! Taking the easy way out is such a typical old geezer move. I don't think it's very appropriate to leave the dirty work to the young generation while you sit back and claim all the credit. Whatever is the matter, Master Lucio? It's nothing, just... Everyone seems so relaxed, but I'm here feeling like my heart's about to burst. Indeed. I too wonder how everyone can stay so calm. Why, my first mission actually left a hole in my stomach. I think I threw up some blood right there on the spot, too. 
That... Uh, sounds unpleasant. And yet... You didn't run away. You fought through and completed many a mission, yes? Uh... I suppose so. I don't really have much choice because, well... How shall I put it? Well, it's always innocent, powerless people who are placed in the greatest danger. They need our help. Even the help of one as unskilled and lacking as I. And not to sound arrogant, but... You don't sound arrogant at all. On the contrary. If anything, you have my utmost respect. Master Lucio... You... You were far too kind to heap such praise upon one such as me. I only hope that I will not betray your expectations. I shall endeavor to do my... Yes, my humble best. Uh, I am your junior, yes? You don't have to be quite so... Uh, humble around me. Why are they all so difficult? Enough chitter-chatter. I sense something ominous here. Is this the power of the Void? Oh dear! But we're in a dimensional tunnel! Who would have thought they could attack us here? Who are these guys supposed to be? These are the ones who have been running rampant on countless other worlds. You haven't encountered them yet? Nope. <laughs> it would appear my accursed right arm cannot help but summon only the mightiest foes to battle. Quite different from you, Joom, and the small fry you attract. <sighs> it's so hard being me. Untrue. Your arm is not accursed in any way. I'm just saying that even our foe knows that their minions and lackeys stand no chance against me. Stay frosty, Raph. They're tougher than they look. And there's no shortage of them either. Perhaps it's true that our enemy is done gathering power. Still, one thing is clear. Our foes are indeed at our destination. Their interference here and now is evidence of that. It would seem battle is inevitable. Shall we, Lord Rulgia? Allow me just one second to settle my nerves. Yes. You'll be fine, Rulgia. Everything's fine. You are a warrior. Your duty is to protect the weak. To see justice served. To defend any and all innocent life. To protect peace across worlds. Yes! Lord Rulgia! <sighs> On my honor as a warrior of the crystals, I will not hesitate to strike down the evil. My gun shall leave no villainy, no dark schemes or evil plights unchecked. Come, Lucio, let us fight for the cause of good. Incredible! He psyched himself up so much, it's almost like he's a different person. To be that determined to complete his mission, I'm... I'm in awe. I'm no slouch myself, though. I shall do my duty in the name of harmony of the world, and the lives of the innocents who inhabit it! All right, Rulgi is raring to go, is he? Guess I might as well join in. Is it just me, or is Lucio getting ready to go full Rulgia as well?
There could be a whole army of these small fry and they still wouldn't be a good warm... from This is just a decoy. Damn it. We were played for fools. Hmm. How kind of you to gather in one place for us. It makes our job oh so much easier. They're too fast. Ah! Attacking from our blind spot. Cowards, the lot of you! Die! Die! <laughs> All of you, shut up and die! What the? <clears throat> Lady Doom! Gah! Your attacks tear at the dimensional fabric of this space. Be wary. Lest we fall through the crack and into the interdimensional rift. Oh, crap! Guys! No, Ravi! If you get too close, you'll get sucked in, too! We cannot allow ourselves to be completely defeated at such a juncture. Raf, Perrine, go on ahead. The rest of us will hold them off here. You can't be serious! Don't forget our mission. As a warrior of the crystals, you know what must be done. Don't fret over us. We'll follow along as soon as we're able. So no eating my picnic box. Got it? <laughs> I'm not worried or anything. Just don't take too long, okay? Till we meet again, my friends! Those are the two who made it out? Well... I know a good time when I see it. Enough blabbering. Look at me. Look at me! One, two, three. Six little worms in all. Two got away, but who cares? I'll wipe out what's left. This kid's a real piece of work, isn't he? He's no pushover either. Still, it's six of us against one of him. It's not a fair fight, but so be it. Let us end this. Unfortunately, it's not going to be that easy. Look. He talks big, but in the end he calls for reinforcements? No. He is a vessel for the Void. And what just appeared is likely a mere overflow of the power gathered within him. The power of the Void can overflow and just... take form like that? He may look like a child, but his power in battle is immense. Be wary. You know, you're pretty convincing when you want to be. Here it comes! Do it! There's no end to them! We shall have to strike down the source directly. Come on! Come and get it! This fight! It's only just getting started! False core! What is he going to do with that? There's 
nowhere else to go. We're being pushed into the rift! The hell? Is that... Is that it? You've got to be kidding me! I can still fight! Uh, 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 Damn it! Is this a reaction from using the false core? Perrine! Are you still with me? Of course! I think we are almost out of the dimensional tunnel! Hang in there, Ravi! What do you think I'm already doing? There you are. I was beginning to miss you. Lady Lies just won't go away! I don't think we'll be able to outrun her. Whatever shall we do? I am so over her following us everywhere. I say we just finish her off here. <laughs> well, isn't this fun? Perhaps we should come up with a new game to play. You're a really bad liar, you know that? Your face and your tone say completely different things! Trying to show sympathy for me? <sighs> Sorry, but I don't have the luxury of doing that. I've had it up to here with you. Aren't you as tired of this as we are? Why don't you just go back to the hole you crawled out of and let us call it a day? Oh dear. Those aren't the words of an ally of peace, Rafi. You... You know nothing. You think I want any of this? Oh please. Nobody. Nobody ever thinks about anybody but themselves! Take that as a no deal. I'm not sure a deal was ever on the table. <clears throat> uh, was she the type that goes silent when she's seriously ticked off? I might have messed up. Uh, crap! At this rate, I'm going to get pushed into the rift as well! The Rift. Oh, it won't be anything as pleasant as that. You're going to be crushed between the dimensional walls and reduced to nothingness. You... okay? Uh, huh? Stay with us! Come on! No, no, no! Don't let her be dead! She's still breathing, at least. Well, I suppose I'll just have to tend to her. Uh, huh? Why do I feel someone's oddly warm breath near my face? Uh, I mean, so close! Uh, too close, even! 
When a lovely damsel inquires as to my identity, how could I not answer? You may call me Howlett. And these two are my younger brother and sister. Well, why don't you kindly introduce yourselves? Hello there, I'm Cho. And I'm Titus. The, uh, pleasure is mine. I'm Raph. Raph, a short but oh so lovely name for a princess. Elegant without being overstated. Here we go again. Oh, well. So, uh, Miss Raph. Uh, just Raph will do. All right, Raph. So, what were you doing just lying on the ground here? I was lying on the ground? Me? Hey, seriously. Are you okay? We just came passing through and there you were, collapsed. So I took gentle care of you. And now you're awake. Do you understand now? I... I see. Uh, thank you. Under normal circumstances, I would not touch a maiden's silken soft skin without permission. Pray forgive me. Silken soft? Let's not get carried away here. Well, I mean, I guess I shouldn't nitpick. You did save my life after all. Now then, allow me to properly introduce myself. To commemorate this fated encounter with the princess of my dreams. Pray give me your tender hand. reaction. Clearly, my princess is a woman of profound emotion. I will wear it as a badge of honor. You're something else, aren't you? Never met anyone who could smack my brother around like that. And not even a slap, a, a good solid punch at that. Uh, sorry! I'm sorry! I don't know what got into me! <laughs> it's fine, really. Knowing him, he's over it already. It was just so sudden and... But, uh, it was just ceremonial, right? That's how you greet people here? While I will admit that I follow a certain code of sorts, I am a bit chagrined that you would interpret it as merely going through the motions. The feelings I bear for my princess are deeply profound in my heart forever true. Uh, I mean, ugh, not so close with your handsome face. Settle down a bit, brother. Now, what were we talking about anyway? We were asking our new friend here why she was taking a nap in a place like this. That's an interesting question. Your fault! You are the reason we have to keep doing this! Huh? What the heck is that supposed to mean? Is that a portal to some other world? If so, this just might be my chance! Wherever I might end up, it has to be better than this place! Here we go! Hey! You're supposed to be half dead, not finding some final reserve of hidden power! That'll 
teach you to underestimate a warrior of the crystals? I've survived worse than this ten or twenty times over! More importantly, I just need to get out of here! Well, you know, a thing or two happened, and here I am. Speaking of which, just where exactly are we? Uh, where? You mean, you didn't travel here by your own feet? You are quite the mysterious young princess. I like this very much, yes. What's with this princess nonsense? At any rate, answer my question. Where are we? We're a few leagues into the former Ligaros part of Rundal. Of this, I'm quite certain. I have traveled through these parts before, after all. Now that I recall, I met another brave and beautiful princess on our last journey here. Two of them, in fact. It was seen this is a place of destiny for me. That's not destiny, that's called being duped. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but anyway, thanks. Rundal, eh? So I made it back to Ardra. This just may be my lucky day. Made it back? Oh, don't mind me. Anyway, while we're on the subject, I have one more question. But of course. Ask and I shall answer any and all inquiries you may have. Do you happen to know where the armies of Leonis and Fenis are doing battle? I kind of have business there. Business? <laughs> Surveying battlefields is a fascinating hobby for a lovely princess like yourself to have. I doubt it's her hobby, brother. At any rate, you must be speaking of the War of Lions Valley. It was quite the battle. Or so I heard. It ended quite some time ago, you know. Huh? It's already over? I slipped somewhere along the timeline. I should have known it wouldn't be that easy. Timeline? She's been muttering some awfully weird things. Brother, Chell, I think it might be best if we don't get too involved with this one. Um, are you going to Finnis then? Finnis? Though the war may have ended, the region is still quite dangerous. But worry not, my fair princess, for I would be honored to escort you to your destination. So, we get to travel with her, Howley? Yay, that sounds fun! Why does no one ever listen to me? Thanks. But if you must know, I am a creature of the night who lives in the company of shadows. It'd be best if you didn't get involved with me. Especially you. Chell, was it? You seem like an innocent girl. There you have it, see? She even says so herself. We shouldn't get involved. And of course, we're going to respect the young lady's wishes, yes? All right then, let us be on our way. How little you understand, brother. Fair maidens are off too shy to express their true feelings. By telling us not to get involved, she is all but pleading us to listen to her every concern. She isn't. Trust me, she's doing anything but that. Anyhow, I'll be off now. We'll probably never meet again, so for one last time, let me just say... Thanks. Oh, well, it's a shame, but... Bye-bye! This is where I give a mysterious smile and just warp myself away. Leaving all three of them wide-eyed and blown away by the mystery left in my wake. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So long. Take care, Mr. Too Handsome for your own good and your innocent siblings.
So, are you just going to stand there with that weird smile on your face? Don't you mind that. Anyhow, I'm going now. <clears throat> Farewell. Okay, take care out there. What is it this time? I didn't think it could get any worse, but now she's jumping up and down on the spot. I can't teleport? But why? What's going on? I only just realized, but... Ugh, I think my magic has run dry. Um, are you okay? You're sweating. Oh, crap. I must have used it all up in my fight against Rasul. Even assuming I'll recover my powers eventually, at the moment I probably have less firepower than Chell over there. If I ran into any monsters in this state, I'd definitely be a goner. N now she has a creepily serious look on her face. I think her eyes are glazing over as well. It, it, come on, brother. Let's go. I'm telling you, this one is very, very bad news. Oh, Titus. Is it possible for you to be any more ignorant about the workings of a maiden's heart? This princess cannot bear to part from us, and thus is pleading that we take our leave first. No, I... Uh, wait, I, I mean, yes. You, you are exactly right. So, let's go, right now. Yes, I can understand her desire to watch her dashing hero stride off toward the horizon. All the while thinking of the day when our paths will inevitably cross again. Oh, how pitiable is a maiden's heart. If that is how my princess feels, the least I can do is leave her with an unforgettable impression. Titus, Chell, let us take our leave. And my princess, until the day we meet again, farewell. W wait! You! Mr. Perfect Skin over there! Wait up, I say! Hmm? Um, my situation might have just changed a little, and... Well, you know, there were probably monsters lurking nearby, and... Uh, I was wondering if I could maybe travel with you for a while. Uh, what kind of development is this? Oh, dear. Well, I'll be. Looks like I was in no position to talk down to Titus here after all. To accept our invitation outright would have made her desperate for attention. But then again, to refuse when invited again, now this would be rude. Furthermore, this approach would likely serve as a fine excuse for the embarrassment of allowing her heart to get all a flutter at this sudden, fateful encounter. Well, no, I wouldn't say it's exactly like that. What a deeply sensitive soul this princess is. He has truly a rare sight these days. You have my most sincere apologies, my lady. That I caused such undue torment to such an innocent heart is something that will haunt me forever. As the smallest gesture to atone for my sin, I promise to you, for as long as you have need of it, my blade is yours. Well, that's just about the worst possible way this could have turned out. Hopefully we won't get into any trouble. I'm not really sure what's going on, but does this mean you're coming with us? I mean, if it's okay, that is. Just for a little bit. Like, until we get out of these woods? Of course it's fine! Yay! This will be fun! <laughs> Thanks. Oh boy, here we go, I guess. Until we reach the end nearby and no further. Got it, Chell? 
That said, you are quite sensitive to your surroundings as well, aren't you, my princess? Hmm? What are you talking about? You mentioned monsters lurking nearby. Well, it would seem there are, and in no small numbers. Uh-oh. What's more, it seems that we've allowed ourselves to be completely surrounded. Why didn't you say so sooner? <gasps> I... I didn't sense their presence at all! My powers are even weaker than I thought! Fear not, my princess. <laughs> but I need not say it. Surely you have already gleaned this much. My swordsmanship is praised as the most peerless in this realm! Which leaves me no choice but to live up to the expectations you undoubtedly have! Behold! As I rout these fiends! <laughs> <laughs>